What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, look, man, the last couple of days is it's been kind of rough as far as notable passings. Um, people that a lot of us grew up watching. Um, earlier this year, it was announced that longtime NBA referee Hugh Evans was finally going to be inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame this September. Unfortunately, now, Hugh Evans will not live to see that triumphant moment. Hugh Evans passed away today at the age of 81. Uh, Hugh Evans uh, was one of the great and one of the great pioneering NBA uh, referees. Uh, he was an official in the NBA from 1972 to 2001 and worked more than 1,900 regular season games, 170 playoff games, 35 NBA Finals games, and four NBA All-Star games. A statement from John uh, D Delova, the president and CEO of the Basketball Hall of Fame, quote, the Basketball Hall of Fame family mourns the loss and celebrates the life of Hugh Evans. He was a trailblazer. He was a trailblazer. In 1972, he became the first NBA official from a historically black college coming from North Carolina AT&T University. He was also known for holding himself and other officials to the highest standard. The game is in a better place for having had him involved as an official and later as a supervisor of officials for 30 years. Um, Adam Silver had a statement today. The NBA mourns the loss of Hugh Evans, one of the league's most accomplished referees and a 2022 Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. Hugh officiated close to 2,000 games, including 35 finals games. We send our condolences to his wife, Kathy, and all of his loved ones. Uh, Evans scored 585 points in 72 college basketball games at North Carolina AT&T from 1959 to 63 and was inducted into the school sports hall of fame back in 2002. Uh, John Calipari, the Kentucky coach, former NBA coach, also had some words on Hugh Evans passing, quote, a great hall of fame NBA referee, Hugh Evans passed this morning. Aside from being one of the best of his profession, he was a really good man. He spent time, we spent time together, excuse me, at the final four this year and he goes into the next Hall of Fame this September. God bless him and his family. One of the things I do remember about Hugh Evans, um, and this is not to be disparaging upon him in any way, shape, or form, um, he was sometimes seen as a nemesis of the Chicago Bulls. Um, he often made calls that were to the detriment of the Chicago Bulls. Uh, one of the biggest calls that he made, the biggest one that he made that was, uh, that Bulls fans hate was the foul call on Scottie Pippen when it pertained to Hubert Huber, Huber Davis back in the 1994 series. Uh, look, Scottie Pippen didn't foul him, but you haven't saw a foul, and that played a big factor in uh, the Knicks winning that game. You know, so you know, I'm, you know that, that's, that, that was many years ago. Uh, I know at one point in time, Chicago Bulls fans felt a certain way about Hugh Evans, but you know, he was just doing his job. He just called the situations the way he saw it. Um, so, uh, rest in peace, Hugh, uh, Hugh Evans, and uh, another fixture from our youth, our childhood, has left the scene. 